and we are going to go ahead and plug it in and see how quickly we can get up to 80%. What's up guys? So as we know, I came out here about a day ago and I got up to 500 kilowatts. Uh, but what I didn't test was how long it took to get up to 80%. So I'm gonna quickly show you, we are at 1% right now. You can see this here, and we are going to go ahead and plug it in and see how quickly we can get up to 80%. Um, and of course, the, the goal here is going to be hitting 500 kilowatts. We're gonna plug this in. Okay, so we got 45 minutes. We're at 70 kilowatts, 82. We are at 114. We are at 188, 228, 270, 294, 312, 354, 390, 425, 444, 463 come on let's go 475 pump oh it's going down no way okay so that's a bit of a bummer but we're still gonna charge it up we didn't hit the uh the 500 kilowatts here um but you know let's go ahead and just uh check to see how long it will take to get to 80 percent so we only got to 475 i believe it was and it's telling me it's gonna take 45 minutes. All right, so we're gonna see. So we started charging probably at 10.45. So it's only been two minutes and we are almost at 10%. Uh, we're at eight right now. So we're gonna check back at 10.50 and just see where we are. Okay, so it's 10.50 right now and we are at 21%. Um, so it's only been five minutes and I've charged up from literally 1% all the way up to 20%. So uh, really good progress. We're gonna check in at 10.55. All right, so we are at 10.55. It's only been 10 minutes and we are all the way up to 36%. Again, at five minutes, we were at about 20%. I see it even jump up to 21, um, but good progress in just 10 minutes. So zero, zero to like 36% in just 10 minutes. Um, and you can see here, we've charged a total of 46 kilowatts um, and it's cheap charging right now because I'm here out at close to 11 at 32 cents per kilowatt hour. Um, so we're gonna keep tracking. We'll check back in at 11. All right, so it's been 15 minutes and uh, I started at uh, 1045 and we are up to 48%. Um, and again, the cost is about $19 for 59 kilowatts um, charged up. Zero to uh, 48 percent, or zero to almost 50 percent in 15 minutes, which is just absolutely insane. And it is giving me this estimated time up here, um, but we're just gonna watch it real time. All right, so it's been 20 minutes, and I've gotten up to 57 percent or what is 181 miles. So super helpful to see that. And we are up from, I believe it was 46%. It's only about what, 10 or 11% more um, that I added in five minutes. So it's starting to slow down a little bit. We're at 121 kilowatts right now, um, but we're gonna see you know, how long it takes to, to get to 80%. So in 20 minutes, we've gotten up to it was 56, it's moved up 2% since I've been recording, and we will see um, how long it takes to get up to 80%. All right, so it has been 25 minutes, and we've gotten up to 65%. So again, in 25 minutes, we've gone from literally one to 65%. Uh, we're tracking to get to the last 15% and see how long it takes. Um, it says 13 minutes because again, I have the limit set to 80, 38 minutes. So we'll see how long it takes. Um, so I'm going to check back in in another five uh, at 11.15 and uh, we will see how long it takes. All right, so I'm just checking in because it hit 70% at about 29 minutes. Um, we're going to get to this last 10%. It says nine minutes, but we're going to see how long it takes us to get finally up 
to 80%. We got another 9% to go. Uh, and we're charging at 89 uh, kilowatts right now. Um, and again, it's been 29 minutes, zero to 71% in 29 minutes. That is not bad. All right, in 35 minutes, we have gone from from 1% to 77 or 78 now. Uh, again, we have 2% two, uh, 2 more that we're gonna go. It says two more minutes. So I'm gonna check in right when I hit that and it stops charging. Uh, but again, it has been about 35 minutes uh, to get from zero to 78. All right, so I'm at 79% and it has been 36 minutes. And I can just start to see it starting to calculate at 91 kilowatts. Again, it's gonna stop once it hits 80, um, 80%. 80 and again, it's in about 36 minutes, 37 minutes, I've gone from 1% to, to 80%. So it looks like it stopped at, took me a total of, what is that, 37 minutes to charge up to 80% from 1%. Um, and I only hit a top speed of 476 kilowatts. Uh, so not quite what I wanted to get at, and I think it's partially because I was at 1%, but I think the most important thing is actually hitting this at uh, literally 0% or one mile. You literally have to run it all the way down, and that's how you get up to 499 uh, or 500 kilowatts, uh, 476 to be exact. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully this is informative. Again, it's super cool that the Cybertruck is able to hit this. Um, looking forward to seeing these being rolled out across the United States. Um, I know there's gonna be another one here in Campbell as well in the Bay Area. Uh, so if you're in the Bay Area, uh, you know, definitely, and you got a Cybertruck, definitely make sure to get that thing down and see if you can hit it. You got to precondition. Um, I did a test and that video uh, came out first. Unfortunately, I only got up to, uh, I think it was like 336 kilowatts because I couldn't precondition. And it was partially because uh, this, this site was not on uh, the map yet. I was going to another supercharger, but it was V2. So you gotta do a V3, but either way, now you can actually map it here and precondition it. But you gotta make sure that uh, you got enough time to precondition it all the way down if you wanna hit it perfect. But it just kinda tells you, you have to hit everything perfectly to hit that 500 kilowatts. And it happens for about a second. Uh, so all that to say is that, you know, hopefully you enjoyed this, hopefully it's informative. Again, it took about 37 minutes to go from one to 79%. Um, and please make sure to like, subscribe, uh, and comment uh, your favorite part of the video. And thank you for supporting us. We will catch you on the next one. And shout out to Insta360, uh, the Ace Pro 2, and the, um, um, and the mic as well uh, for helping put on this amazing epic video and capturing it in pure video format tonight. So um, key here, especially in low light settings, um, it's important to make sure that you have a camera that can capture it all.